Hey everyone, so it's, uh, it's winter time at the moment and it's pretty wet out and I can't do a lot of work on this barn at the moment. I'd like to start doing these foundations and leveling off the ground but the ground's too wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these post mounts here. Oops, there we go, those. So that's the post mount there and while we've got wet weather and we're in the workshop we're going to get those knocked out. So here is the actual part itself. There it is on CAD. So it's made up of 10 millimeter plate. These are 10mm plates and 5mm walled 60mm tube. It's got holes in the top and bottom to allow galvanizing on the inside of the tube and then two holes in the blade which the post sits between this. This is actually uh, inside the post and then bolts go through and bolt it down. Uh, it'll also be have uh, four holes either side here to bolt down to a concrete pad. I've done all the calculations for these and these will start to deform. This is the weak point here of the uh, of the part and it will start to deform at 25 tonnes. So I've rated them at 10 tonnes and there's 19 of them. And I've concluded and worked out that the weight of the barn <coughs> there actually ends up being less, just about 5 tonnes on each one. It's not quite equal. You know, some of these ones with the main bulk of the barn on it are a little bit over five. These ones are under five, but it averages out at about five tons. And I've rated them for at least twice that continuously. And they'll def start to deform at twice that again. So they're well underrated or overbuilt, which is what we like to do. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's, uh, let's get to work. It is definitely a workshop day today, so we we'll go out to the metalworking workshop and make some post bases. See if the cat will come with us. Let's run, I'm gonna get wet. Come on. Nope. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, wet, miserable day today. Plenty of hydro though. Alright, come on then. Right, first things first, I'm gonna take this uh, whole sheet of 10mm plate which was the off cut left over from doing my workbench when I had those sheets uh, cut in half or not in half, in two thirds so that's the plate and I'm going to cut out as many base plates as I can off of it which I think is 360 or 12 of them so with the one I've already made it's quite a lot so uh, yeah, let's get cutting it's going to be quite the power consumption to cut all that out, 10mm plate
So I'm just uh, make, carrying on with these plates. So I'm just uh, welding the tube on for now. I'm doing it in stages. So I drill all the holes uh, from the mount into a concrete base and weld that tube on. And then put another plate on top and then the blade on top of that. I'm manually drilling these holes because the plasma cutter doesn't cut great holes at um, such small sizes. You always end up having to clean them up anyway, so um, I'll just drill them out because I've got the mag drill. Yeah, just carry on with them, got a lot to do, 19 in total. You see in the background there, I've, uh, yesterday I went and picked up a uh, second hand engine for the van because I think the crank is uh, bent on it. So uh, yeah, found one not too far away, so I snapped it up, sat there, so that's another project is to take the old engine out and uh, stick that one in. It is pissing it down. Right, that's that stage done. So next is back to the plasma table, cut out the actual bit that the post sits on. Come to show me, dear. Fastnips. Look at them. You show me to get them out. Did I you did, yeah. God. <laughs> right, we have to be careful. With <laughs> They've done all right, mate. They have. They're massive. Look at the size of them. <laughs> well, hopefully, they're nice. Hopefully. Right, I think we're good there. Uh, yeah, all right, let's do it.
Right, that's all the plasma cut in, grinding and cleaning up and everything done. So now it's just uh, weld these, weld everything up basically. <clears throat> I ground those uh, channels in there so you get more weld in there. Yeah, just uh, afternoon now of just welding constantly. <laughs> Pushing on, <laughs> gotta get these done today because I've got to take them to uh, get galvanised tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, they're getting there. A lot of work though, a lot of welding. And that is the last one done. That was a long day, a lot of welding. It's done, and they're ready to go. So, I'll load them in the back of the van uh, tomorrow. Go get them galvanised. Right, it's the next day, morning. I'm just getting loaded up. One thing I forgot to do, and I'm doing now, is I didn't have the holes drilled for the uh, galvanising on the top. I did it on the model, but then I forgot to actually transfer that drawing onto the computer and I printed out the old drawing so I'm just manually drilling out the top drain holes for the uh, galvanizer. Yeah we'll get these loaded we'll get off to the galvanizers. Get the galvanizers right I'm at the galvanizers they're loaded up there, ready to go. And uh, yeah, see if I can film them being galvanised, but I'm not, not sure I'm allowed to just yet. Right, back home, just the parts are dropped off. I couldn't film it because um, they're really busy. They had loads of stuff to do before they could even look at mine. So, uh, so yeah, we didn't get to film the galvanising, but I'll go back there in a few days and, uh, and collect them. Uh, next job is to tidy up this place because it's a wreck. Hey everyone, so uh, yesterday I went and got the uh, brackets that we made uh, last week. They've been galvanized now. And look what else has happened. This is what's been keeping me busy in the meantime. Yeah, I took the engine out of this and um, I got a new engine for it, which was a second hand engine, but it's the wrong engine. It's not the wrong engine, it's the right engine, but it's for the wrong car. It doesn't quite fit. I have to swap loads of bits over and mess about. So I just decided to refurb the one I got. So. My one's all stripped down. I'm going to do a complete rebuild on it. But yeah, the brackets are back. I'll go and show them. Here they are, back from the galvanizers. And they look really good. Really professional looking. I'll take them off the top because you get the contrast not great. You can have a little look. But yeah, please where they come out. Yeah. I reckon that ain't bad. They're going to be great. Well pleased with them. I'll save myself some money. Yeah, they'll sit there now. 
So yeah, they're gonna sit there now for, well, about probably five or six months until they're put on the bottom of the feet. But the weather, you know, it's that time of year where the weather's not great. And I just thought I'd get something done while it was wet. And it's actually lovely and dry now, so I could be doing the foundation. But never mind, we get the van sorted, we'll sit, leave them there. And uh, when we get another bit of decent weather, I'll start doing the foundation. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.